share. Okay. Just um, no, just well, here, start with what we're doing here today. This is editing. This is editing. Okay. Tell me when. When are we ready? I know, it's one of those things, it's funny, because it's, you know, with, with, like, with luck in the jar, anything, doing behind the scenes work. I know, it's one of those things, it's funny, because it's, you know, with, with, like, with luck in the jar, anything, doing behind the scenes work. There's always pre-production you can show a little bit, and production's usually the most, and then post-production it's like, yeah. I mean, because it's really kind of a, in the office, hunched over computer, not very collaborative process. Editing is a, it's an incredibly lonely process because suddenly you're not dealing with your actors anymore. You're not dealing with your crew. You're not, it's not collaborative anymore. And I think that one of the, the greatest benefits I could have at this point is to let my crew see the film, or at least the, the, the producers of the film, let Jamie, who shot the film, see it. I'm really interested, interested to see all the Suicide Room stuff because we did a million angles for that. Two cameras. It was it was a lot of shooting. I'm just interested to uh, see what shots were picked, stuff like that, and uh, see how we might be able to tweak it when we're done if it needs tweaking. So we'll see. And you know, uh, approach a few editor friends of mine and just say, let's just take a look at it. I already know, having taken a week away, I watched it and said, I don't want to look at it again. I need some time to just let it digest. And already I'm going, okay, that scene needs to be tightened. That scene I need to use that shot instead, and blah, 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 blah. But I'm not infallible. I'm not infallible. I wanted to try to cut it together as close to my original vision as possible. Even knowing that certain things, they needed to be touched up, they needed to be tidied up. But I know that other people who don't have the same emotional connection, who haven't been staring at that screen every day for two months, are going to go, well, why didn't you do this? Or that's not clear. And I'm going to go, Holy shit, you're absolutely right. So I'm looking forward to that. I really am. I'm going to be concentrating more on how it cuts together and if it's applicable to a mainstream audience, if it's good enough, I'll be looking for ways to tighten scenes up. I'll be looking for ways to make it better. Trying to remember some of the shoots we did and see if there was any other angle that we could put in or something like that. Just ways that we can make the movie better. At the same time, you become so so wrapped up in what you're doing, you lose objectivity. You know, I, I was talking to an editor friend of mine, Tim Solano, who worked on uh, Paul Schrader's Exorcist prequel, and he was telling me, he told me, he gave me the best advice that anyone's given me. He said, make sure you're trimming the fat, but you're not cutting the flesh. Because you know, you've been staring at that scene over and over and over again, and you know it so well, you're desensitized to it. And there are things that, you think are perfectly clear, or there are things that you think are going on too long, and someone else is going to slow down and pick it up. Or so that's it's it's. I've needed a little bit of a break. It'll be fun to watch it with kind of people who haven't seen it and hear reactions because I watched it with just Eric, so he'd seen it a million times right. during editors. Excellent. I'm interested to watch other people watching it. Uh, we're getting ready to watch the uh, first rough cut of what. Um, and I'm really excited for this. Uh, Eric's been doing a lot of work on it. Um, got a lot of high expectations for it, and I've heard nothing but good things about this so far, so really excited to watch it. Choices have led us here. 
The sooner we all realize that, the sooner we can correct them. It's easy to blame others for our struggles. Our parents, the way we were raised, we weren't loved enough. Our spouses for not understanding. Our jobs for not recognizing. God for not listening. But in the end, when they're gone, we're still here. And we can't walk away, even when we want to. Sometimes we want to. We all need a reason. How much more do you want? That's fine. I mean, I'm not going to use nearly that much. Right.